Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to make a circular progress bar using a timer in Unity 3D. For example, there will be a circular kind of digital clock you want to reduce at 1 1 seconds uh, depending upon your timer. So, that is the plan we are going to make. Um, so, before that, I am going to make a cir circle in a Photoshop. So so if you if you are still if you are a programmer there is no problem in that uh, just follow my simple step using your photoshop in your uh, system so you can be able to make that so don't want to worry about uh, whether uh, you have an artist or not it's not a big issue so click on the name and select with i200 and choose the background contest content as transparent and click ok ok and then choose here so choose the shape ellipse tool and then choose this drop down path and then make a circle okay so and then select that's it. next what we are going to do you are going to repeat the same thing so that's it choose and select this and make control T so that you can make circle ready with perfect I hope this will be fine Okay, this was like fine. So hit apply. So and then choose from the from here. Select this and make it as shape. After that, the color will be applied. If you know, uh, if you don't, if you like to change one more time color, you can be able to do that. So I am picking some blue, maybe yellow. Okay. So that's it. So click on file and click on save as and make from jpg to png and then save it as circle okay so after it has been saved go to the unity and open try and drop the circle over here sorry for that copy show explorer paste and then change from texture type to sprite so the sprite has been saved now so change to sprite and then create ui and then make an image drag and drop the image over that after that you can able to see that image type is simple make it as field and change okay before that i want to make sure that it comes over here okay fine so it came maybe i'll try to increase the size okay if it is not circle fine i'm sorry for that try to change okay make it too big I hope it press be in great now so next what we are going to do is you want to change uh, so this is the fill thing so it's going to fill like this so it no it, it should start from top so I'm making top so let's see yeah so it will be the progression will be may of work like clockwise if it is not clockwise you can do anti-clockwise it's your choice so if it is top you can choose top if it is 90 you can make progression will be on 90 so i am 
since it's a timer i i'm going to make it as 360 so make top okay so it will be progress like this so that is the idea so everything has been fine now so progress bar okay so create a script shun status okay okay try and drop to the main camera open this uh, fine so implement using unity engine dot ui namespace and then public image focus bar image img so using this we are going to control in script okay so play control v okay so in order to control progress go bar uh, so i am going to get fill amount okay fill amount is going to reduce the value so before that try and drop the progress bar over here to the script so uh, my idea is i'm going to change at the update function one by one using a fill amount so in order to make i am going to have the maximum value maximum value is one okay so using this i am going to do before that let's see make a timer okay public text timer obj okay there was in some error there is no issue yet this is the error error we go text as the progress bar what happened which really is it that sorry for that uh, it's great one more time I'm, i don't know how it's gone image circle let's make a little bit bigger okay this is fine and drag and drop here okay create one more thing called text this is the timer text make it center make it center make the text bigger and change the color okay it's going to start from 60 so i'm making 60 this is the font Let's make it center and fit the anchor portion so that it don't change in any size okay everything is fine now so i'm making a child of this uh, this is a progression and this is timer so drag and drop both in the script progression has been done now already i'm dragging timer okay everything is done so go to the progression and change to field and change to 360 and make it as top so that it will work from 0 to 60 okay everything is as done so now what we are going to do is um, so uh, we are going to uh, make a timer work in order to make a timer i am going to have public i am sorry okay public float total time okay it's going to be 60 is 60 seconds okay total timer equal to total timer minus time dot delta time it's going to reduce and you are going to show here um, timer object dot text equal to total timer okay so let's see what's happening you want to convert into two string in order to work okay everything is done now hit play so it's coming in decimal i don't need a decimal so two string two double quotes make it as zero so it will receive only a uh, before the decimal point so everything has been done now perfect 
so my next idea is i am going to make a circle reduced depending upon the timer while you are so in order to have the timer applied to this image you want to make you want to do some math calculation so the math calculation is nothing but max value okay and then it's going to dis divided by by total timer star timer star frame rate okay okay so actually is nothing but uh, maximum value provided by a particular source if it is yes if it is a uh, image or uh, if it is whatever if it is a slider that is a slider okay if it is a slider whatever the value provided by the particular thing you are going to calculate using that okay so this is a formula so i am going to have progress value fill amount equal to max value max value is 1 because fill value by default is 1 okay i want to make sure that and then divided by total time total time is nothing but this is the thing 60 and store time dot delta time time dot delta time is a frame rate independent so that the system will calculate exactly in every mission that's why we are making a time dot delta time so everything has been done so let's see what's happening oh i'm sorry so i am making to minus because it will reduce from one now you can you able to see that so that timer will react perfectly Okay, there is just some different scenes you want to make sure that it will be 1.0. Okay, total timer it should be public, so I want to go over here. Okay, this is 60, that was fine, that is no issue. Let's see how it works now. So, by default, it is 1. So, I hope this time it will work without any issue. 59, 58, 57. So it will little, little bit faster, I think. In order to reduce that uh, speed, let's make it total time. Oh, I'm sorry, total time is reducing over here. You can't be able to add directly. So it will work now. So the problem is that I had a total time. The total time is reducing over here. So it will change frame by frame. I don't like to do that. So instead of that, you are going to add 60 directly over here. So it will work now perfectly. Let's check it out. 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 53, 52. yeah so it will be done now <laughs> so 30 it should be half yeah perfect It has been done now so that's it so 
so don't allow to go to the negative in order to stop this with nothing special if total time greater than zero cut and copy else it should be zero So this has been done now. So only do the logic system. Only whenever that timer is greater than zero, otherwise don't do that. So that's it. So it will work fine. If you like to reduce the timer to 10 seconds, you can able to make a progression work on the 10 seconds. So make it a 10, make it a 10, so that it will work fine perfectly. There is no issue with it. I'm sorry, it should be public. I am my so it's a public. Well, I'm going to change here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So it will work perfectly. Even if it is rectangular timer progress bar, you can be able to do that. Or you can start from uh, 0 to max. You can be able to do that. Instead of this, you can be able to make instead of this uh, minus you can be able to make plus so that it will be work perfectly without any problem so likewise you can be able to make a timer so this is it so if you guys think this video is very helpful for you so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and then hit the notification bell button so that whenever the video has been uploaded you can be able to see that new features each and every day so please do support us so thanks for watching thank you and i'll see you in next video bye